Your roof is unique and y'all went through the snowpocalypse. Yep. And then a few months later, just yeah. recently, y'all got a major hailstorm. Yeah, um, it's pretty significant, uh, consistent ping pong to large golf ball size. And then some of the larger stones that were coming down were almost baseball size. Yeah, just uh, for a good 20 to 30 minutes straight, um, just battering the uh, the roof and the gutters. And uh, so I was certain that we were gonna come out here and just see busted glass, you know, shingles. Oh, and uh, so, but we got up, you know, the next, uh, the next morning and uh, checked the app and it was still producing solar and it looked like a pretty because it was a it was a sunny day so it looked like a nice smooth production curve and we uh, we looked around and I'm like I don't see anything of significance in terms of damage you know to the roof but you know let's have the guys out and uh, and just do a, a really good inspection just to make sure there's no hairline cracks there's no functional degradation you know performance degradation um, and so that's you know over the last I guess it's been about two and a half, three weeks. Um, I've been producing the most amount of solar that I've produced all year, uh, even after that uh, that significant event. So it's the best time of year now for solar, right? Yes, yeah, the, um, days, the days are getting longer. Uh, sun is optimized at its right angle, uh, hitting all the faces of the, uh, of the roof, which is uh, giving me a ton of energy. So that's been, uh, I've been impressed with how much I'm able to produce. Well, one of the cool parts about the solar roof is like we have tiles on the east, the west, and the south facing slopes, correct? So yes. you're kind of getting yes. an all day production. Yeah, spectrum. and you can see, you know, when you look at my, my app in terms of when it starts to hit each face and then when it's getting all the faces. So like yesterday, we had uh, clouds in the morning. So I wasn't getting a lot on this initial first face. But then as it got towards the middle, we still had clouds, but all three faces were getting the sun. So I still got a nice little peak of, uh, of energy. And then as the sun starts to go down, you know, I'm uh, producing a little bit less. But on a cloudy day with a ton of storms and rain, I still produce, you know, 50 kilowatt hours on my uh, on my system. That's awesome. So, yeah, that was uh, that was, you know, a pretty terrible day of, of solar in general but you still see it. Uh, I got a lot of production out of it. I overproduced what I needed for the house. I was able to charge the power wall, able to charge the uh, the Tesla, and then still, you know, send back to the grid. So pretty cool. Yeah, that seems like, you know, that, that's the goal. <laughs> that's I mean, what you want. That's kind of project, right? Yeah, yeah.